Welcome back to Gears and Mechanisms. In this video, we're going to take a look at the difference between a bevel gear or a rack and pinion system. You have to build one of these two uh, mechanisms, and they don't change speed or torque that much. What they do is they change the type of movement from the input to the output. All of these are in your robotics building guide. Just remember to take a look at your uh, stamp sheet here. It's going to tell you what page to look at. And then in your guidebook, it has a lot more detailed pictures to help you put these together. All right. So the first one is a bevel gear. This is one of your options. And bevel actually means it's not, uh, it's cut at an angle. So these gears all have their teeth cut at an angle. And if we take a close up look at one of these, uh, we can actually see that it is at an angle. We have two kinds of bevel gears. These are the slightly larger version. And we do have tiny little bevel gears as well. And when those teeth mesh together, they mesh together at a perfect 90 degree angle. Okay, so these are bevel gears. Uh, they transfer uh, motion in a different direction. So from beginning to output shaft, you know that there's a 90 degree difference in their movement. All right. Uh, the other option is called a rack and pinion. This is a rack and pinion system. So the small gear in the middle is called a pinion gear, and then the, on the bottom, this is called a rack. Okay, And we can see that this case, we transfer uh, from a rotary type of motion at the beginning to a linear motion, or moving straight line in one direction uh, as the output of this mechanism. Okay, A couple tips to build the rack and pinion system, if this is what you so choose. The um, track that the rack goes on, there are two sizes of these really doesn't matter which one. It is a lot easier to use the smaller one. So if you can find the smaller one when you're building, that would be better. Also, the pieces of the rack to attach these, uh, they have little screw openings at the bottom. Notice that they are not just the traditional black screws. They are gold in color. So when I line these up, I want to use gold screws to hold them in place. I would look down the bottom, line it up best I can, and then I would take motor screws I don't know how easy you can see that. Motor screws, they are gold or silver. They come in a couple of sizes. Use the smallest motor screw you can. And all you have to do is attach these rack pieces at one point in the middle. Okay. Use the gold screwdrivers with the gold screws because there's the gold openings on the rack pieces. And then when you're done, you should notice that there's only one motor screw holding each piece of rack together. Okay. So that's that. Now, how do we get these pieces to hold together? Uh, we actually screwed those through on the bottom. You can tell that there's a couple just standard screws or bolts. And they don't go all the way through the rack brackets. Okay. So what I do for those is I try to find one of the large spacers. And then I try to find a screw that fits almost all the way through a large spacer. Okay. And that's the piece that I would put through from the bottom. I put the screw up through the bottom until it just grabs onto this uh, rack bracket. And I tighten it with my wrench, and it holds together. Okay. All right. So there we go. This is called the rack and pinion. Choose to do either this or the bevel gear. And then let me know when you're done. I have some questions for you. Good luck.